Hello everybody, it's Vertical Sandwich. Uh, welcome back to Let's Play a Weird Version of Dragon Quest Eight. So, if you go to pick them after we've done the Escantha quest, the Brains is not here. Med uh, Medea doesn't get stolen, Trode's not in the bar. So there's nothing you can do. Like, we're actually gonna go and try to get into Dodgy Dave's, and uh, the bartender won't let us through. So, uh, also, in this video, I'm going to go over all the things that block you from advancing the plot without Angelo. And where I'm at right now, uh, I actually have gotten Angelo, and uh, I went into a fight and killed him and then ran from the battle. I don't think I'm going to bring him back to life. I think I'm going to run through this without Angelo. But I don't know. I'll have to think of other things I can skip and other things I can mess with and stuff like that. So here we go. So the bartender here. Yeah, you want to know what's the, the, where the door behind the bar goes? Haha, <laughs> they need something I can go tell it any old punter who asks. Now, uh, I, I am happy to say that at this point, having gotten Angelo, um, there actually is a cutscene you would never see if you do the sequences in order. So we did at least unlock something, and I'm hoping we're going to unlock an alternate cutscene for Red. Because we're going over that next. This is what happens if you go and try to talk to Red. She hasn't stolen the horse. There's no reason for you to talk to her. Uh, there's nothing about... It changes uh, the cutscenes in the Swordsman's Labyrinth. Because we're going to go through the Swordsman's Labyrinth in this video. Yeah, if you come up here, this guy will tell you, like, you know, who are you? And you can't come in and, like, get out of here. Clear off. And she says, I'll clear off. And then if you come in here, this guy will complain about how there's a stable with no horse in it. And like I said, there's nothing in here. Oh, uh, except a mini metal. Anyway. Um, now if we go into the Swordsman's Labyrinth, Yangus will not tell us kind of... He, he can't tell us like the elaborate story that involves Red... And how he injured himself trying to get it and things like that. And actually there's no cutscene after getting the Venus tier. Which I was shocked. We are so over leveled that I beat the trap box in the Swordsman's Labyrinth with just a cadet. Like it takes like two people. So this is essentially like... Uh, and when we get uh, Angelo, I'm going to show all those cutscenes because you'll get to see Jessica in this outfit in the cutscenes, which is unusual. The, chest. the Venus tier is supposed to be locked away in that. Must be a real gem. This ain't the first time I've had a bash at this place. I ain't never managed to get as far as the chest, mind. But I ain't doing the off with that at this time. We're going to get that Venus tier. And yeah, the cutscene in the original, like, in the actual plot line, he talks about doing himself an injury, like, trying to get it, and stuff like that. Yeah, we're level 21. This is before going into the Swordsman's Labyrinth. I got up to level 21. It's completely, completely over. It's ridiculously over level. So yeah, this is the path to Trodane. So there's nothing we can do about this. And I've checked after you get Angelo, it's still, the, the plot line is directing you to pick him. But there has to be a reason to go there. So there's an additional cinematic to tell you to go there that you would never see in the normal plot. We'll be doing that next video. So, here's my fight with the trap box. Which I found to be incredibly easy, considering how much trouble I had with four people in my actual LP. But these levels are ridiculous. 21, 21, and 19. Like, Jessica already has oomph. Which just, oh, uh, just makes this. She does die uh, pretty unexpectedly.
Yeah, she never gets a chance to attack. And apparently the helm splitter doesn't work. What I wish I had recorded was my fight against the Kraken when you're crossing the uh, the sea, because helm splitter works on him. And that was, it made him so easy to beat, just lowering his defense with every attack. I actually used a weaker weapon on him so I could do that ability. But yeah, we're doing 98 damage. That's like an 11th of his total hit points. Like, when you're doing 150 a turn, this guy is not a problem. And I already have mid-heal uh, on my main character, so... Oh, she does get to attack once with oomph. No. Now she's dead. Yeah, I actually, I, I died crossing the ocean, or crossing the, uh, on the ferry. Just like in my LP. Yeah, and I kept uh, selecting this attack, which is like an, a, a critical or nothing attack, and like... The first time I was just checking it out to see if it worked. And the second time it was just a complete accident. It was the thing that was already on. But yeah, we have nothing to worry about in this fight. It's ridiculous how overleveled we are and overpowered. I expect our journey through Trodane will be the same. I don't know what I'm gonna do with like the monster team and stuff yet, because I haven't I haven't talked to Mori. I may just ignore them. I may do a no monster team thing. I'm thinking if I can't do anything else spectacular with the plot, that uh, I may just show boss fights with only three characters. I don't know. And there isn't going to be a video for this every day. There'll probably be three, three days in a row where you get a video, and then I won't really have time to play it till the weekend again. And I'm not running a fourth LP. It's not going to be... I just love this game so much, I wanted to mess around with it again. And some people had suggested this, that you could do these things out of sequence and see things you didn't see, we didn't see in the LP. And we can't have that. We can't have my LP somehow be incomplete. I did keep doing Helm Splitter, even though it isn't working. Uh, because I, I didn't think it hurt. Like I said, we were in no... Yeah, so we have, like, mid-heal already. It's just ridiculous. It's super ridiculous that Jessica's... Oof. And if we're doing a three-person run, we'll have multi-heal easily by the time we do Dolmagus. We're gonna have to, because killing Dolmagus with no monster team and three people, especially since Angelo is gonna be our primary resurrection guy. It's going to be a lot of alchemy pot for resurrection items. So there we go. It was an easy victory. Yeah, I know. Normally in the game, Yangus would say, like, the Venus tier, you beaut, and things like that. And, like, no. Nothing. We're just allowed to just evac. And I actually end up uh, zooming to uh, to Fairbury. I meant to go to Alexandria because it has the easily the easiest access to the inn and the church. Cause like Pickham, you gotta run through all this stuff and like the same thing with Fairbury. So that being said, there's nothing left to do but this. Halt! Who goes there? I don't know you. <laughs> what are you doing? I don't know you. You need special permission to enter here. Leave now. Unless you want to die by a Templar sword. I got we're so overleveled we would kill these guys. I ordered you to keep strangers out, not to be rude. We have a reputation. Do you want to sully the name of the Templars? 
Martello! I'm sorry, Captain. I apologize for the heavy-handedness of my men. We've had some trouble with strangers of late. Our duty is to protect the Abbey. We cannot permit nameless travelers to wander around at will. Whatever, man. Matters within the Abbey are trouble enough. But that's no concern of yours. These are the Templars' quarters, anyway. I trust you have no business here. So I would ask you to leave. I warn you, my men are ill at ease. I may not be able to stop them next time. So, uh, we'll be going into the Abbey here. I'm probably going to be jumping through cuts. When we do the Ruined Abbey quest, I'll probably jump straight to the boss, which... You again? What is it this time? What? You've got Angelo's ring. Yeah, because, like, we're, we'll be Who super overleveled for that boss. It's ridiculous. Again, did he? That boy's a disgrace. Very well. So, I will Angelo's see you guys for that stuff, and, uh... Bye, everybody.